chapter 41. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them draw near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Who hath raised one up from the east, at whose steps victory attends? Who giveth nations before him, and maketh him rule over kings? His sword maketh them as the dust, his bow as the driven stubble. He pursueth them, and passeth on safely. The way, of, the way with his feet he treadeth not. Who hath worked it, and done it? He that called the generations from the beginning. I, the Lord, who am the first, and with the last, and the same. The isles saw and feared, the ends of the earth trembled, trembled. They drew near and came. They helped one, every one his neighbor, and every one said to his brother, Be of good courage. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth it with the hammer, him that smiteth the anvil, saying of the soldering, It is good, and fastened it with nails, that it should not be moved. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, you whom I have taken hold of from the ends of the earth and called you from the uttermost parts thereof and said unto you, You art my servant, I have chosen you and not cast you away. Fear you not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I strengthen you, yes, I help you, yes, I uphold you with my victorious right hand. Behold, all they that were incensed against you shall be ashamed and confounded. They that strove with you shall be as nothing and shall perish. You shall seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with you. They that warred against you shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand, who say unto you, Fear not, I help you. Fear not, you worm Jacob and you men of Israel, I help you saith the Lord, and the Redeemer of the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I make you a new threshing sledge, having sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountains and beat them small, and shall make the hills a shaft. You shall fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them, and you shall rejoice in the Lord. You shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. The poor and the needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongue faileth for thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open rivers on the high hills and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a, a pool of water and dry land springs of water. I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the acacia tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the cypress, the plane tree, and the larch together that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this, and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Produce your cause, saith the Lord. Bring forth your reasons, and saith the King of Jacob. Let them bring them forth, and declare unto us the things that shall happen. The former things, what are they? Declare you, that we may consider and know the end of them, or announce to us things to come. Declare the things that are to come hereafter, that we may know that you are gods. Yes, do good or do evil, that we may be dismayed and behold it together. Behold, you are nothing, and your work a thing of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you. I have roused up one from the north, and he is come. From the rising of the sun, one that calleth upon my name. And he shall come upon rulers as upon mortar, and as the potter treadeth clay. Who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we, may, that we may say that he is right? Yes, there is none that declareth. Yes, there is none that announceth. Yes, there is none that heareth your utterances. A harbinger unto Zion will I give. Behold, behold them. And to Jerusalem a messenger of good tidings. And I look, but there is no man even among them. But there is no counselor that when I ask of them can give an answer. Behold, all of them, their work are vanity and not their molten images are wind and confusion. Okay, let's go back up to verse 1. We remember now in yesterday's chapter, we were getting back into the prophecies of Isaiah or Isaiah. And we are continuing with those today. Yesterday we was comforting the people. God's declaring now that he is sending one who is going to come and be his judgment even against all the nations. 
And this is this is the this is good news. God has sent judgment into the earth. God has now shown Himself mighty even in His judgment. And we're going to find out. It's and, and we already know. It's exactly what God said. He's going to do it exactly like he said he was going to do it. For for one purpose, he does seek to redeem his, Jacob, his servant, who he has brought this judgment upon. But we're going to find out that God shall not be likened unto any image. No image shall you liken the Lord unto. And But we're going to find out. Now, God has brought a spirit upon the earth. And he has caused this, and it's God who's done this. God's going to declare this in the next several chapters. God has worked this. God said, this is the work I'm going to do. And lo, this is the great work that he has done. Now, we're going to pick this up with verse 1. Keep silence before me, O islands, and let the peoples renew their strength. Let them draw near, then let them speak. Let us come near together to judgment. Keep silence before me, O islands. Islands, island is those that are isolated even into in the sea. These they're like these little teachings of men always running their mouth. They got their little island there, and, and there'll be there's always those a few that are there on it with them. But God's telling them basically just shut up. Let the people renew their strength. Let the people come here and drink here. Let them draw near. Let them speak. Because God want, God is going to reveal himself, as we found out. God says, I will reveal myself, and all the nations shall see my work. See, and, and this is what, what he wants to do. He wants to let you see his work. It is a great work of judgment. Two, who hath raised up one from the east, at whose steps victory attends. He giveth nations before him. He maketh him rule over kings. His sword maketh them as the dust, his bow as the driven stubble. Who has raised one up? See, who did this? Who raised one up from the east, from this land of enlightenment even, from the rising of the sun? God did, remember? God did. See, God always raises one up. Who what has he done from the beginning? What king did he not set in place? What judgment has he not sent? See, and that's what he's saying. Who did this? Three, he pursueth them and passes on safely the way of his feet. He treadeth not. See, and this will cause this one we're talking about is idolatry. See, this is the one we're talking about. It's not a king that goes around treading with his feet. No, this is in the land of, uh, in the kingdom of God. This is idolatry, this idol you've raised up, who treads down now in his understanding. For who hath worked and done it? He that called the generations from the beginning. I, the Lord, who am the first and with, and with the last am the same. God has done this. It is God who's done this. God raises up. God throws down, see. This is the purpose. God has brought a great judgment in the earth, and he is declaring this, that he has done this. He said this uh, This will be the sign of it. There it is. There's no secrets here. Five, the isles saw and feared. The ends of the earth trembled, and they drew near and came. Why? Well, God commanded them. What he's saying? I'll raise up an ensign, and I'll make all the nations come to it. There's nothing hidden here. They helped everyone his neighbor, and everyone said to his brother, Be of good courage. Yes, everyone helped his neighbor, and everyone helped his brother. Be of good courage. Have strength. Seven. So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smootheth the hammer with it, him that smiteth the anvil. Saying of the soldering, it is good. And he fastened it with nails that it should not be moved. Because they made him an idol. Be of good courage. We will make us an image. And so the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, this one who stole the gold, and imputed it over into their image. That's what this is. That's what the goldsmith is. See, because gold belongs to God. These are the things that belong to God. And they have stolen them. And they have imputed it into their image they have made. And everyone helped everybody. This was all something everybody did. Playing on the goodness and all their fantasies. See, 
God did it. God did it. God caused this ignorance in among you. God sent the spirit of sleep. God sent the spirit of slumber. God sent the spirit into the mouth of the prophet, even this lying spirit. Eight, but you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend, this one I've been trying to teach, this one who's been scattered among all the nations, just like I said they was going to be, my servant, this one who serves me. We're going to find out God's got more than one servant. See, God's got more than one servant. He has Jacob, this one he was using from the beginning even to declare him, to sanctify the Lord, to show himself mighty in the earth. Nine. You whom I have taken hold of from the ends of the earth and called you from the uttermost parts thereof and said unto you, You are my servant. I have chosen you and not cast you away. Because it, God intends to make an example of Israel right up to the end of days, see. And he has scattered them in all the nations of the earth. We found that out. The king of Assyria did this. Who sent the king of Assyria? Did God not say, I'm going to send this Syrian against you? Did God not say, I'll send a Babylonian against you? Now God's declared that he is going to send a great scourge even into the earth, a, uh, an idol, and all the nations shall come to it. God's going to do this. God has done this. Fear you not, ten. For I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God, I strengthen you, I, yes, I help you, yes, I uphold you with my victorious right hand. Speaking to Israel, all those nations that are scattered in the world, Judah, fear you not, for I am with you, be not dismayed, for I am your God. God strengthens you, God helps you, God is upholding you. With his victorious work. Because that's what the right hand represents. It represents work. God's work is victorious. He's done it. He's done brought it against all the nations. And they have already fell. They've already fell. They're delivered to the fire generation after generation for their image they've raised up. Behold, all they that were incensed against you shall be ashamed and confounded. They that strove with you shall be as nothing and shall perish. Who? All those of the earth, all the nations. Why? You've made yourself an image. You've went astray from the law of God. You did not obey. God done this to you. Wake up. See, God's trying to open your ear and let you know God did this. It is God. Twelve, you shall seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with you, they... That warred against you shall be as nothing as a thing of naught. Their understanding just passes away in a moment. They're gone. They're made ignorant. Well, but see, God has set them now as an example in all the earth. And we'll find that out. We're going to find that out in the next chapter or two. 13. For I, the Lord your God, hold your right hand, who say unto you, Fear not, I help you. God has taken a hold of your work. God has taken a hold of you. Fear not, he says. 14. Fear not, you worm, Jacob, and you men of Israel. I help you, saith the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Have no fear. God is doing this. God is working this great work. God has done this marvelous work. Sanctify the Lord. Make yourself clean and acceptable. You are his witnesses. You are his witnesses. You know this is God. You know this is the work of God. You worm Jacob. Why? Because God's not doing it for you. He's doing it because he's shown himself magnificent in all the earth. God has done this. He is a, it is a witness of him. 15. Behold, I make you a new threshing sledge. Having sharp teeth, you shall thresh the mountains and beat them small and shall make the hills his chef. God has made you a new threshing instrument. A sledge with sharp teeth, and you shall thresh these mountains, all these high places, and you shall beat them small and shall make the hills his shaft, even these exalted places, these places that are lifted up. See, 
They were made and lifted up so that God could cast them down with his word. He has already prophesied it. See? Because God didn't tell you to build a high place on every corner. God said, don't do this thing. 16. You shall fan them, and the wind shall carry them away, and the whirlwind shall scatter them. And you shall rejoice in the Lord. You shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. You shall. God said you will. And who thinks you will not? See? Well, we're going to find out. See, this, this contention is of the Lord. These ones that contend. But we're going to find out even these are going away. 17. The poor and the needy seek water, and there is none. Their tongue faileth for thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, I the God of Israel, will not forsake them. The poor and the needy seek water, and there is none. That is, that's today. See, it's a desert. God has done this. Why? Because God's going to pour out his understanding on the earth, and all this is going to be made known. See? Then there will be plenty of drink. There will be plenty of substance. Because they have withheld from you. For their own gain they have withheld. They have created an image. They have caused you to bow down. They have imputed all things of God unto it. I will open, 18, I will open rivers on the high hills and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. Only God can. See, God can dry it up. And then God can send the rains. And that's what he's done, see. That's what he's done. Of course, we find out it all came in through tenderness and goodness with a sweet cookie, with a little sweet cake. 19, I will plant in the wilderness the cedar, the acacia tree, and the myrtle, and the oil tree. I will set in the desert the cypress, the plane tree, and the larch together. Who? God will. Set where? In the wilderness, this place where the dr dr words drive out. The cedar, this evergreen, this acacia tree, even this scourge. This is a, a scourge. And the myrtle, even this pleasant tree. And the oil tree, this fat tree. And these trees represent these ones that are supposed to be the leaders. They're supposed to be the leaders. But what God done, see? God is setting examples in them. God has made these examples. Oh, it's all pleasant. It's all a fat seed. It's an evergreen. It's everlasting. And it's also a scourge. It's like a bothersome tree. I will set in the desert the cypress, the plane tree, and the larch together. Who will? God will. Set where? In the desert. This place that is dried up, parched. The cypress, once again, these evergreen trees. This plain tree, even this tree of great strength. And this larch tree. This is a little, little cedar tree. Yeah, it's the, a little cedar tree that they would probably whittle their idols out of. And then there it is. See, God has done this. God has set these together. God makes these. Because God controls all things. 20. That they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Who? God, the Holy One of Israel has created. There's none more powerful than him. Who has come that he is not sent? 21, produce your call, saith the Lord, and bring forth your reasons, saith the king of Jacob. Now, produce your cause. Got your evidence? Get it out. See? Get your evidence out. What do you got? Bring them all up here. Because, see, we'll have a court. We'll call heaven and earth and God, and we'll get every Jacob in here. We'll get Israel in here as a witness. We'll see who's telling the truth. We'll see what it is. 22. Let them bring them forth and declare unto us the things that shall happen. The former things, what are they? Declare you that we may consider and know the end of them or announce to us things to come. Let it speak. Speak up. What's going to happen? Do you know the beginning? Have you considered the end? Declare it. Tell us that we may know. 
Show us all your great understanding. 23, declare the things that are to come hereafter that we may know that you are God's. Yes, do good or do evil that we may be dismayed. Behold it together. Do something. Stand there and run your mouths. See, God set you up. God's making an example. You remember what Elijah did to the prophets of Jezebel? Very similar situation here. See, because you don't have no God. You have an image you've created. You have a covenant you've made for yourself. What else do you have? See, don't you know God done this to you? God's made an example of you. Thank God he did because he opened my eyes. 24, behold, you are nothing and your work a thing of naught. An abomination is he that chooseth you because you are nothing. God's done this. God set you there, though. You're the work of a thing of naught. Men have made you. Men have built you up. Men have done this. But God has caused this spirit to God has done it. God has caused them to do this. 25. I have roused up one from the north, and he has come from the rising of the sun, one that calleth upon my name. And he shall come upon rulers as upon mortar, and as the potter treads the clay. Yeah, God's raised one up from the north. What's, what's he keep up in the north? God keeps there all of his treasures. And this is his judgments. The lightning, the thunder, the rain, all these things. That's where God stores it up. God calls one from the north. It's trouble. There's great trouble. God's sending judgment into the land. He shall come upon these rulers as upon mortar. He's going to treat all the kings, nations, all these high priests, all these great ones who've made their self and hewed a place out there. It's going to be a grave for you. Just like a potter treads the clay, that's how he's going to come upon you, stomping you down. Just like an unpleasant work off the wheel, that it still was not pliable enough. See, it's cast back into the pile for treading. This is what happens. This, this is a similitude where God uses the potter and the clay to represent you. 26. Who hath declared from the beginning that we may know, and before time that we may say that he is right? Yes, there is none that declareth. Yes, there is none that announces. Yes, there is none that heareth, heareth your utterances. Who has said this from the beginning? No one. See, the Lord brings you by ways that you know not. God brings you upon paths now. He declareth now these new things. There's none that announces these things. There's none that has heard God's utterances. 27. A harbinger on design will I give. Behold, behold them. And to Jerusalem a messenger of good tidings. But God sent a harbinger. God has sent a messenger to see on design this parched place. Behold. Look. Look. See them. See, this harbinger is a plural. Them. Behold them. Why? Why they are doing a wicked work. And God has caused them to. God has brought them into this place of error. This is God doing this. 28. And I look, but there is no man, even among them. But there is no counselor that when I ask of them can give an answer. Why? They don't have no understanding. God sent them forth as a judgment in the earth. God sent them forth as a witness to who? Israel. See, God's working this. Ain't it marvelous? Ain't it great? Ain't it wonderful? He's doing just what he said he was do going to do. Has he not? Has he not used the very seed he said? God done this. 29, behold, all of them, the works are vanity and not. Their molten images are wind and confusion. See what God's done to them? See how God's closed their eyes? See how God's brought a spirit of confusion over them? They have no understanding. They go forth doing this without knowledge. They go forth doing this without understanding. They made a molten image. 
They've created themselves a, a pillar there. And they reap in wind and confusion, and they go to the fire. This is the work of God. This is a great marvelous work that God has done. For he is God, and here is no other. They have strayed from the law of God. That's why he has sent this scourge into the earth. And this is the judgment of God. And they go to the fire. God's going to pour his word out. God's going to pour out understanding on the earth. He's going to make this known. And this will be the great threshing instrument. See? Let us go on. Let us move to chapter 42.